Alana from the Toronto Metas, as well as uh, Shik Yik. Shu uh, Yik, and he's also from the Toronto Although moving to Winnipeg, so beware Winnipeggers. Um, with me today is uh, Christian. He's the former uh, Canadian Nationals champ from 2016, correct? That's correct. Yes, and uh, so unfortunately neither one of us uh, didn't make the uh, top four today. Uh, I got tied for eighth, and how'd you do, Christian? I think I finished about sixth. That's pretty good. I mean, we, we both... Uh, didn't uh, at least uh, screw up too bad. That was good. <laughs> well, I didn't have you to uh, to roll over for me. That is true. That's kind true. Of me I mean, into I, the top I, four. We were next table. We were one table away from each other uh, from letting me win. But. I was really looking for your name on that schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure lots of people were probably. Anyway, <laughs> do you want to give a? Maybe I'll start giving a breakdown of yeah. what uh, Yick is running. Yeah, sure. Yick's been a long time Armada player in the Toronto area, and he's uh, heavily, heavily feared. Uh, I probably fear him more than anybody else uh when i see his name on the uh on the challenge sheet next to mine i'm always like oh no mm-hmm. how do no. i turn this into a five how six? do i yeah <laughs> what do i do here but uh anyway so he's done very well he finished in first place in swiss uh yesterday and uh he's running an imperial uh no he's not he's oh, running he's a rebel list uh with an mc80 assault cruiser and general dundana um and he's got the strategic advisor, engine techs, early warning system, and electronic countermeasures. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a pretty rude setup, I think, for a, a super pickle, as we call them around here. Yeah, it's definitely got some uh, survivability to withstand any alphas to, and then to be able to retaliate back with the Defiance title. Right, and I mean, it's got this huge bear hug of a side arc, mm-hmm. and it's, uh, I mean, that early warning system's gonna be money, I think, in this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then to fill out his list, he's got a bunch of transports and uh, what looks like a pretty lethal squadron complement in Nim, Biggs, Jan, a YT-1300, a couple VCX freighters, uh, and two X-Wings. I mean, yeah, he's got five ship activations with equivalent six with a strategic advisor. So generally, if he's going second, he's uh, you know out-activating everybody that's a thing to allow Defiance to work. And also, if he goes first, he still has a good chance of first-lasting him. Yeah. Oh, and it looked like, uh, get into Mac's list in a second, but it looks like they went with advanced gunnery. And we're not sure, oh, Mac has first player. Yeah, they, they had to do a roll-off. Guy, They're right? both at 400 points even, so they must have done a roll-off. And it looks like, yeah, Mac had to choose advanced gunnery. Although they both have it in their list, I believe. I'll go through uh, quickly through uh, Mac's list here. It's uh, He's running the MC-80 Star Cruiser, um, the, the Liberty version for people. He's uh, got the Moncaren title on it with Bale. Caton, Caton and Sholin, Engine Tex, Spinal Armament, SW7, you can to confirm all those uh, accuracies into, uh, into hits, and then XI7. It's a 170 point monster uh, that can effectively go speed 4. It's very effective. And he's running Garm Bell Iblis, so we finally see Garm in a, in a significant tournament. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be fun to watch. Filling out his list, he also has got the uh, Flotilla Spam. Um, he's got uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, GRC-75. One is actually a combat version, though, and the combat version has Bright Home and Draven on it. Um, the other ones are just basically like one has Hondo and one is Quantum Storm, and they're all empty other than that. Then uh, for his squadron uh, complement, he's got eight Z-95s, two VCXs, uh, he's got Lieutenant Blunt for, of course, to make the Z95s go better. And then Han Solo to uh, work effectively with uh, um, Bail Organa for all that first activation and that key turn that he needs. Yeah, that's pretty cool, Brandon. But I highly doubt that uh, Mac actually bought four packs of Z95s. <laughs> I think uh, we better get a judge in there to check <laughs> yeah. out those Zs on close inspection. <laughs> they might be some males, yeah, shapeways yeah, or something. Yeah. Like that. They kind of look a little bit like modified X-Wings to me there. <laughs> some men just clip off the two wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see the cardboard. Let's see the actual cardboard. So he's got advanced gunnery, so and that both, would be great for and uh, they, for Mac. Yeah. I mean, that's this is really what he wanted, They're I both think. good for both. They're like, good for both. Uh, that super pickle's going to be nasty with advanced gunnery though yeah, it's uh it's a, but le- at least with uh, uh max going to be able to maneuver and maybe either get in his front and then and then it's a yeah know, so, uh, so yeah. with him going first he actually now will actually still be able to out activate because he's got one two three four five six so it actually evens it out so he still get the first last or sorry he won't get first last but he gets first and then it gets last right 
No, it's uh, but Yick will have advanced gunnery on that super pickle, mm -hmm. and that's going to hurt, right? Especially with heavy ion emplacements, quad batteries, and defiance. Uh, mm -hmm. That's going to throw a lot of dice, and uh, that MC80 that Max running doesn't have any defensive retrofits yeah. that I can see here. So he's going to Mac is going to have to rely on outmaneuvering Yick. He can't get into a trade yeah. with his front and Yick's side in uh, in the battle of the super pickles. And the way that they've laid out the obstacles, uh, they've kind of given that Star Cruiser that ability just to basically go where it wants to go, except for like the two uh, close, uh, the asteroid and the debris field that's in close. That'll be the only thing that uh, Yick will be able to hide behind to hopefully give yeah. the uh, Star Cruiser some pause to not jump in on him. The other thing that I think will really help Mac is he's just, because he has so many squadrons, he's going to have an advantage right now while they're deploying. So he'll get to see where that super pickle goes down, I believe, uh, before he has to commit uh, his uh, MC-80. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's always a problem I've had going up against super pickle lists where I get out activated, is I have to sort of deploy in such a way that... You almost ignore to what try the list to, is, just deploy. Have, yeah, want because, to. I mean, he could just put that pickle anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I try to deploy in such a way that I'm really threatening wherever he put his squadrons and uh, to force him to put the pickle in a, in a, in a sort of a similar area. Yeah, yeah with EX doing the, the typical uh, deploy the flotilla forward and then have your uh, squadrons all pile up onto various asteroids to avoid an alpha later on, diminish the alpha, and then they're also not engaged so that they can move forward and do whatever they need to do as exactly. well. Exactly. I think Yik wants the squadron fight to happen right in that <coughs> middle area with yeah. that cluster of the two rocks in the station. Yeah. Because, I mean, Max, Max got a lot of squadrons, but they're just skinny Zs. They just melt, mm -hmm. and uh, they're not a squadron that wants to attack into rocks because they're only rolling three red to start with, which is really fickle, mm -hmm. right? And uh, if you're rolling only two red, I mean, that's basically garbage. Uh, he needs those swarm rerolls, and if Yik can deploy in the rocks and deny that whole area, he won't get either of those things. We were doing some of the math last night, and uh, we were looking at, at his uh, Liberty, the Star Cruiser, and what he could effectively do, and it's averaging nine to ten damage every time it shoots at you, if it's in blue range. And with XI-7 and Mon Karen, it's like fives going through every time, minimum. So if you don't have e XI, or sorry, ECM. So it is a, a, a serious threat. It's gonna nuke anything small that it comes along. Yeah. And against your big targets, within this list, both their big ships have advanced gunnery. Therefore, he's gonna be able to like do some serious hurt. Yeah, I think there's gonna be the bones of many flotillas. <laughs> uh, uh, littering the table by the end of this game because yeah. anything that comes into range is just going to get smoked. Yeah, because whatever, I mean, he'll see where Defiance goes down on whichever side of the pile of flotillas. Right. And then he'll go the other way and just kind of swoop in. And I, I would assume that's what he wants to do swoop in and just start tagging all his uh, flotillas one off for the other. Going back to the stream here, still, we still, still piling got up the squadron, a, a squad balls. Interesting that Mac. I guess that once you start deploying squadrons, you tend to keep them all together. But sometimes it's not a bad idea to put two squadrons down, then put down another flotilla, yeah. then put two more squadrons down. And now the person. And now you've got to, you know, because squadrons are so maneuverable, they can basically go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So where you deploy the squadrons, unless they're B wings or uh, YV 666s, it doesn't really matter where they go. Because that's a nasty ball that Yik's got going there. So Yik still has two more squadrons that he can actually deploy. So he's moved. To, he's got two flotillas going opposite directions. They're obviously runners. Oh, Panzer Ninja! Glad you could make it out. We Should've missed you here yesterday. I was looking for you. Should have brought Balkans. Yes, <laughs> in this uh, situation, it might have helped. <laughs> So Mac got what he wanted. He was saying before the game he really, really wanted first player. Um, Yik, I think, badly out-activates him here. So if Yik had gotten first player... Yik wants he, second Yik, player. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think it really would have got ugly for Mac because he wouldn't be able to uh, uh, really get in there with a Star Cruiser before everything else goes. Or escape if he needs to. And Yik seen it looks here like he's just going to sit right on that squadron and that's where the that's where the squad war is gonna happen. Get around Mac, it, yeah. I, I would think Mac wants to put that MC uh, MC eighty between flotillas three and five at the top of the screen there. Mm -hmm. Because if he puts it on if he puts his MC eighty on the extreme left of the map, 
um, Yik can always just reposition his squadrons. But you know what? In a way, maybe that's good because it'll pull Yik squadrons away from that station and sure. off those obstacles. I'd be very curious at what speed he comes out the gate at. I know, like, with Garm, he has the ability to adjust his speed from 1 to 3 really quickly and then bump it up with the engine tech to 4. Um, so I would think he would probably start off as 1, see where the battle's going, maybe get the squadrons engaged, and then do that jump to speed 4 to get around or to block. Does Max still have a transport to deploy? That was bizarre. <laughs> well, I guess he so badly out-activates Yik, it doesn't matter. Yik is done. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. Or not out activate, but out deploys. Deploy. I think uh, Mac, if he's going to have those Z's work, he's got to jump into those rocks with first player. He cannot let Yik uh, form a sort of line of scrimmage uh, at those rocks, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Those Z's attacking into rocks, they're not going to hit anything. <laughs> yeah. um, Although those, talking to Mac transports. earlier, apparently they get five damage every time they shoot. <laughs> well, crazy Mac. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, there's only three hit faces on a red dice. So, yeah. statistically, you shouldn't be rolling anything, One or right? two max. And, well, the thing I'm saying is, like, yeah. if you let Yik take those rocks, Mac won't yeah. have Swarm. Yeah. And he'll be rolling two red dice, yeah. right, into those rocks. That's, like, a, that's not very good odds. Yeah, you're lower than one damage. Yeah, average. and every time Yik shoots back with one of those X-Wings, it's going to kill a Z. So he's going to be bleeding Z's really quick. And even if you manage to get the two hits off, he's just going to Janors that random... Oh, he's hit. got Janors and Biggs, yep. yep. And uh, Yik yeah, is going to want to get rid of, of Max Squadrons as fast as he can because he wants those those uh, those bombers to do work on that MC-80. Yeah. But actually, speaking of the transports for, for Mac here, like if Mac can jump into those rocks, like I was saying, and deny them, just to deny them to Yik, um, then his transports can get in there. And, uh, and and awesome. help out flacking, mm -hmm. right? Um, the only danger there is, I think anything that comes into range of that super pickle uh, is going to get turned to dust. Well, if you're timing it to go with your start group, they're never going to get oh. shot at. So, right. you know. We need the Bail or Gone around. Let's see if he remembered it. He's first player anyway, so Bail or Gone is just going to give him a couple tokens. of tokens. Yeah. Yeah, that's a significant nerf onto the power of Bale that will give him first player and it's going to uh, two coat. Possibly. Is he turn I thought four? Mac was uh, first player. He is. You, you, still, you still choose Bale or Ghana's turn. Yeah. It's just what you, the effect you get is different. It's just the tokens. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually, I, honestly, I've never played him because I don't play okay. Rebels. I actually just assumed he just got the two tokens at the beginning of the game. That was it. <laughs> you you um. actually get them at that turn. Uh -huh. And he's got Garm, so he's going to be getting a whole pile of tokens at turn four. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Meh. Well, Garm is what? Turn three and, three turn and five. Three and five yeah, so he'll he can spend all those tokens on turn three and get them right back at the top of turn, turn four. four. Yeah. Ah, uh, the unimportant activations on the outside to start off with. <laughs> Is he jumping up to speed three right off the bat? Yep. Yes, he is. <laughs> Token and a command right off the bat. Oh, and that's, uh, that's Quantum Storm that does the extra movement. Right, right. He, he wanted him in there. Is that... A strategic advisor's getting tapped on Yik's side. Yeah. There's been some debate about how Strategic Advisor and Garm react to each other because of, if you're second player with Garm, it specifically says you can't be the first ship to activate. Strategic Advisor isn't a ship, so you could actually tap Strategic Advisor, forcing the second player to move a different ship first before you move anything. Still cannot activate the Garm ship. Or the, not the Garm, the uh, Bale ship. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't run into that myself. Yeah, um, I was interested when I saw that. I'm like, wow, like, because Strategic Advisor says you're passing. It doesn't say it's a ship activation. Bale's card specifically says you cannot be the first ship to activate. Yeah, sorry about the 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 other game, guys. Has very few transports. There's only one transport on the table in the other game. But uh, Norm's hair is just so scary. We couldn't put that on stream because it would spook away our viewers. So we have to show this game. <laughs> We're gonna have to show this game first. Yeah. So yeah, you can say it's depressing or whatever, but you know what? We had a really good variety of all kinds of different fleets here. Um, uh, these guys made the top with, with a lot of transports, but I mean, I really could have gone either way. Uh, there was a lot of great fleets. We even had uh, eight hammerheads and a, uh, and a CR90 out yesterday. 
yeah. uh, and another CR90 swarm. I think it was eight of them, and they did very well. Uh, just not quite enough to make the top cut. It was very close. Yeah, uh, there's a quite a big of a stack in the top eight. Yeah. Like it was, we were like, I was tied for eighth, so I was effectively ninth, but I was only like four points off of being in the top four. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was only one point out of uh, contention for the top. Uh, so it was the top four as well. Very top. Heavy Yick, almost. Yick finished above and beyond everybody. Yick had 33 points at the end of Swiss yesterday. Um, uh, I believe Norm had 29, and everybody else had 28. There was about four peop- three people that had 28. Yeah. And then I had 27, and I was in, I finished in sixth. And I dropped all the way to ninth with 25. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said before, I, I needed to play you in the last round. So oh, listen to this. I could, I could get some points. And then I, we wouldn't, you'd be watching a totally different game, guys. I don't know. I don't mo- have most of the people that have beaten me the first time I played them, I usually crush them the second time. Oh, well, you never know. Who knows? I would have been really pissed if you didn't roll over for me again. <laughs> Oh, Brandon, awesome. Go in the world. I don't run. I don't run. That's my... Uh, if you, he doesn't run. If you're ever going to yeah. play me, and uh, even yeah. though your list might be like the worst possible matchup, I will still go in to try and win. Like those gazelles that are sick and they show their <laughs> neck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make you... I'm not going to make you work for it. I think Don, Dundana is just so devastating. I mean... Uh, yeah, don't Dundana. When you get those crits through, it's just so awful. When you got to hand I mean, over the top like quarter of your deck and they get to pick out a card. I mean, he's, he's only got the four bombers in the list for to take advantage of Dodonna's ability, but I mean, still, um, it's going to be uh, working. And then, plus his actual assault cruiser, when the crits finally go in, ugh. Right, and uh, Nim is really frustrating, too, because uh, he can just strip your tokens out. Uh, he's pretty consistent at getting that crit, especially with Torn Far nearby. So I actually wouldn't be too surprised to see Yick sort of just go straight with the, his super pickle and just sort of move up the line uh, just to the right of the rock in the station. Yeah. Mac might have enough Z95s to effectively prevent you from ever getting that range one shot at a ship. You just plug up the whole front just by bases and you might not be able to get that shot off. Right. But uh, like you see how uh, Yick's flotilla three and four and... Uh, uh, Max Flotilla 5 and 6 they're going to be the ones that are going to take the opening shots right because if we if Mac comes barreling in with that uh, Star Cruiser um, it's only a matter of time before he gets range on those those two flotillas mm-hmm. yeah I, I almost wonder if when he's moving uh, Max 3 and 4 if he's actually going to move them in to try and like block 3 and 4 from getting away and let the Star Cruiser come down swoop in knock out those and then go for the, the Super Pickle yeah, well, Yix three and four there. They are. That's his torn far. Uh, bright hope. Uh, he's gonna want to keep. He's gonna want to keep that guy close. And Max gonna want to kill that 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 transport as soon as quickly as possible, because um, the rerolls that 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 torn far is gonna give him uh, is gonna do work on those Z's. And the Z's can't use torn far, right? Because they're mm-hmm. rolling like ridiculous red dice. It's kind of weird that the uh, only uh, flotilla on Max list that can actually shoot, he deployed way in the back. The one he's just about to move right now. I'm not sure uh, if he's jumping up speed. No, he's keeping it in the back. No, the only one that can shoot that can stay back. <laughs> it's Hondo, yeah, though. General, so it's General Draven. I almost wonder if he just like upped it to that no, version con- just to make him 400 points. Like Just to be like, I don't care. I want to be 400 points no matter what. <laughs> Spend two extra or whatever it well, is. Well, he's got Draven on there, right? And oh, was that the Draven one? Oh, that, yeah. oh sorry. So that's number one. two. And you're right, it's in the back there. It's a combat refit. Um, I think and what it's you... has got bright hope. Yeah. Well, you know what? The combat refits for the Rebels, I don't think are actually all that bad because you're you're rolling a blue anti-squad dice mm-hmm. and you can use Torn Far, so yeah, you get a range, re-roll yeah. on everything. I mean, uh, Imperials would give anything to have that kind of a re-roll of blue flag. <laughs> Point and you're, yeah, yeah, and I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, a combat refit is the same cost as a like a uh, the cheap version the cheap of Gazanti. Gazanti, yeah. <laughs> So frustrating as an Imperial player. <laughs> Inside turn. I don't think Mac is going to play uh, KG, and no, uh, he, because he's got so many Z's, he can't nitpick 
trade a couple squadrons to mm -hmm. uh, to try to run away with this. Because remember, this is elimination. So, like, um, just looking at the squadron load, I would assume that uh, Yix squadrons will o eventually overpower the Z Swarm. Absolutely. Yeah. And so if they get into a big squadron war, trading that, he's just using that as effectively meat shields. He to needs, get a star he cruiser needs to the use work. the Star Cruiser to do work. He can't uh, sort of do these little trades with uh, with Yik. And that was almost like Canadian Nationals, the final, back in September, the last one, where Norm was able to win by killing one Z95 mm. on the last turn. But they mm. just avoided each other, right? I don't think Mac's going to do that. And I don't think they actually lead either one of them knew, really, like, what that score was that close at that point. I, yeah, yeah, I don't think they were following it quite that closely, but... Yeah, I if, if, if Mac decides to sort of take a, the long route, the route to the right around that, that uh, debris cloud there, um, that would force Yik to probably turn in sooner than he wanted to. I think Yik just wants to... Uh, Oh no! It looks like I he's foresee going him right going the over the debris cloud, just, just right not over. Care. Maybe even jumping over it because he's engine teching right now, which means at speed three he'll be able to clear the debris cloud next turn, unless he rams and backs up. Well, he's first player, so he's gonna yeah. now he's gonna have shots on both those flotillas at the start of the yeah. At, at, yeah. yeah he'll doop doop and with advanced gunnery. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. They're both in range. <laughs> yeah, I don't see them surviving that. I think Yik sees what's going on here, and he's <laughs> needs to reorient yeah, and, or set up, and set up a side shot into uh, the Star Cruiser. Yes, praise be, believe in the scatter. <laughs> That's long range; it's yeah. obstructed. He might not get the. He's got to. got Yik's got to put his uh, his super pickle in such a way that that it punishes Mac uh, for taking shots at his flotillas. Yeah, he's going to force him, arc. <laughs> force him to shoot. Uh, force him to shoot the super pickle. Yeah. All right, so here comes the initial move. Engine and tech, probably gonna swing. see an engine tech. I'm assuming to swing and I think overlap a bunch he's more. He's going to check range here, but he's not in range right now. And I think if he swings sort of to the top left, he's not going to have range. I think and he's, he's got to go straight. It looks like he's currently at a front arc as well, so he's safe as well from any long distance shot. I think he's just got to engine tech forward here. And uh, when the, after, if. He activates first with the Star Cruiser to take out the two Flotillas. Defiance will get the extra die. Oh, is he in range? He's out of arc. Yeah, out of arc, but they're in range. So he could engine tech straight. Or maybe he's not doing it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 he's, he's now, he's no he's matter what. He's, sure. he's doing some sort of engine tech. He has to, because okay. he's got to uh, you know, make force some decisions from uh, Mac. Here comes the engine tech, yeah. Oh, he turned in a bit. Interesting. Still stays out of arc, though. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Remember, he doesn't have Akbar, so... Uh, yeah, he, he and can he, shoot front. Yeah. He's actually setting himself up in such a way that if Mac barrels forward, he's going to be double arc. Double arc, yeah. Um, Although he's got the advanced gunnery. So. He does have advanced gunnery, yes. I'd be... I would be very curious right now. Actually, you're right. Into, the advanced gunnery is going to be big because if Mac, is, front, yeah. Mac is going to try, I think, to escape down the right there. Um, or, or if Mac I was could, Mac, I Mac would turn in and try turn to block. Right, right into his if face. If you can avoid yeah. getting any, like, perfectly hit on, yeah. if he could slow down, calm that on to uh, the Star Cruiser and slow down. Oh, it's down turn one and five for Garm. Interesting. Okay. I wasn't aware of that. I was thinking like uh, Taggy. Taggy's three and five. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. The other useless general, but apparently not useless. <laughs> I've never even tried to make him work. It's, I did. Oh yeah. And uh, didn't go so well. Basically, you have to be super aggressive with him, and you still don't lose your to your defense token quick enough for that first round. And he's um, not that. He's not even that cheap, right? I mean, no, not compared to the other guys. They're in yeah. the same price range, though. Yeah, he, uh, and then by turn five, getting that token bag, it's almost too late for any ship that needed it. Yeah. yeah. If they'd made it twice, you'd pick a turn at the or, start or of the ship phase. Or once a turn, one ship can get it back. Yeah, that would know. be interesting. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be nice if they could retcon some of the old stuff that's just dead on arrival. Yeah. 
Well, you know what? In our, I think they've been really good at Armada about releasing yeah. upgrades that make older stuff better, right? That's I true, mean, yeah. it, it, I was always like, well, who who would ever use a Raider 2? It's, it's garbage. But, uh, you know, they come with some upgrades that, you know, now it's a it's something to consider, right? And they're I mean, minor tweaks. They're not minor like... Minor tweaks, exactly. And it's not like... Um, soul crushing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, X-Wing has the opposite, right? Well, they release a new ship, and then you might as well take all your old ships and just throw them in the trash yeah. because they're like, they're just that... Uh, mm-hmm. The power creep is so extreme. Whereas Armada, you know, the game, the meta changes, things shift, things, you know, things change. But, I mean, we Wave 1 ships are still everywhere. You know, Wave 2 ships are out here. I mean, uh, a lo- almost every ship sees play, in, you know, in some fashion. Except for a Sulk as antiques. Nobody ever uses those <laughs> <Yeah>. things. <laughs> And I would gladly give up my blue dye and normal Gazantes to get a cheaper version. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, I got blue dyes. I mean, every once in a while I do get like a double arc off somebody and like right. they rolled up that cost shaped fire just to be like, woo. But no, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a thing. <laughs> well, I was looking at uh, oh, the assault, the assault Gazantes with. Uh, Concentrating fire with Tarkin, turn, Tarkin, yeah, with Tarkin, right? So they're always concentrating fire and just uh, wedge them, yeah, so that nothing just, you get in between. Yeah, like you're just gonna, it, you yeah. only have to pick from the outside exactly. or head on, yeah. and if you go head on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's something I want to try. It's probably <laughs> terrible, but I mean, they that can they can spam H9 their uh, gunner team. Boom, 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 boom. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's like the Marianas turkey shoot. I've, I've, I've tried to do that even with uh, gladiators. Like, strip down gladiators. Don't put all the extra stuff that makes them good. But, like, just having that two reds out the front, enough of them, yeah. concentrating fire right from the beginning. Like, yeah. you're yeah. eating tokens, and then eventually you can jump in one at a time and do the blacks. You know? Yeah, like, <laughs> absolutely. Yep. <laughs> and three shields in the front. I mean, it's the same as a Vic. Yep, that's absolutely correct. It's got the evade. It can eat a shot from long range. Right? Best best uh, set of tokens in the game. If only the Raider had that. Yeah, the Raider needs a redirect. Big time. Yeah, so he doesn't... He checked Ark there a second. Looking at the other game, it looks like they're going all in as well. Well, Carlo always goes all in. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Carlo play KG. He just goes, yeah. he fights it out, right? Uh, the Radish ship has been dropped. And it looks like he dropped it nicely just outside of uh, block range on the ISD so that the ISD has to move into him. So, yeah, like I said, Yik is jumping up to control that, that line of rocks, and Mac is... is uh, So here's the thing, if you're Mac, would you activate anything other than that MC-80 first? MC- He's forced no matter he what. Has to, he has to so activate No matter what, MC-80. the Defiance can outlast. So, I mean, you can play the KG game all you want, unless you want to get the squadrons involved to lock things up first. That's what I was thinking, but he doesn't have any big squadron activations, right? Yeah, um, two, at, two at a time. Two at a time is all he's got. Because I'd just be worried if you went first and you jumped in, you're going to end up, if the other, your opponent has squadron activations, that'll be just extra shields you're losing before your squadrons can come in to support you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I think you're, you're right about that. The Star Cruiser's got to go first. Mm-hmm. You know that Defiance is never going to move up. And there's, I don't even know <laughs> if there's much point of shooting the Super Pickle with, uh, with the MC-80. We'll see what he does, because Yek's going to have ECMs, and he's going to have his uh, chaff marker on the front arc. You know, if... if he doesn't actually, he doesn't even have Yek in arc at the moment, so there's absolutely no point of shooting uh, You know, Mac might just take, yeah, take the two flotillas, curve down to the right, kill the third flotilla at the bottom of the screen, and roll out. That's Willing possible. to sacrifice the squadrons evenly, and then... I don't know that. I don't think Mac can trade squadrons with Yek. The Zs, um, especially with Yik hugging the rocks like that, the Zs would be attacking into the rocks. He's not going to come off ahead on the on the trade, and Yik will kill. If, I, I see what you're getting at. Yeah. Like he could blow away those two flotillas, 
um, Plotilla's three and four, and then make a run for the bottom of the map. Yik, Yik will make him pay for that. And Max five and six are moving slowly into Defiance's side arc on They're the gonna, far side. Yeah, I don't think yeah. running is an option for Mac. He's got to fight it out and try to kill that super pickle. Um, there's, I just don't see how those Zs could survive against uh, uh, Yik squadrons. They're just too thick. With Jan Ors and Biggs and hiding in the rocks, I mean, there's no way that he's going to have a good trade in squadrons. He has to kill the Super Pickle. But I think you're right. He's got a, a, a um, he's got a chance here, even if he runs over the debris. And actually, that might not be a bad idea because you know what it'll do? It'll throw <laughs> Yik squadrons out of the rocks, yeah. right? I mean, uh, yeah, lock everything up. Yeah, it'll lock everything and up and throw them out of the rocks, and then get get right in front of that Super Pickle. And uh, and just block him up right there. I, I'd still say he probably takes the one shot at the front just to do some damage to that next. Well, he turn. doesn't. He doesn't have him in arc. He doesn't. No, he's oh, not. He's out. Okay, yeah, he's I saw them check okay. it. I know it looks uh, it looks close on the stream. But oh, then, yeah. I saw them laser measure it, and, and side arc's not, not worth it. So no, no, absolutely he'll do not. erase two flotillas hopefully, and then. Yeah, I don't know if he can. Uh, one of those Bright Hope, I think. Uh, I'm looking at Yik's list for comms. Number yeah, three is Bright three Hope. Three is Bright Hope. So, you know, that's long range, possibly obstructed at Bright Hope. It is obstructed at Bright Hope for sure. Bright Hope's over the station. So, both shots are going to be obstructed. So, he doesn't really have great shots. And, uh. Ram one. He's rolling, what, six reds with a reroll? Oh, minus the obstruction, so five reds. Uh. You know, possibly six with a concentrate fire. As quad battery turrets are going to. Oh no, sorry, that's the other, the other list. Uh, he does not have that. So no, Kaken and Sholin will give him that's his reroll. That's his yeah. only source of rerolls. Yeah. And XI7 is useless against yeah. it. So. Uh, Tillis don't give a shit about XI7. Although, it's ironic though, because you declare your evades. You know, like if he does, like obviously he'll do the scatter if he doesn't have the H9. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So like against uh, the other ships, sometimes if you declare your evade. Then you've actually wasted it with the Moncaren title if the person's not paying attention. Like, because oh, if you went to evade, yeah, like, if say yeah, you're shooting against the gladiator, yeah, yeah. and buddy, like, okay, I'll evade this dice, and then you have the Moncaren title, yeah, he's oops. already spent that evade, and that's yeah, the one. That's the one. That's yeah. the one he's allowed. Yeah. So. yeah, I always get caught by Moncaren like that. So it looks like they're coming to the end of the squadron activation, and we're getting ready to move into turn two. And there's going to be stuff dropping <laughs> and getting seriously yeah. damaged in yeah. turn two. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Carlo is set up nice. He's basically at blue range of both the ISD and the Quasar, so that when both activate, they'll move into him, and then he'll Ouch. open up at black range. He's got a Mix 75 with expanded launchers <laughs> and APT or ACM, so <laughs> getting into black range on that thing is death. Uh, yellow is Yik. Yellow is Yik. And he can't outweigh Defiance no matter what. Oh, what just happened there? We had something shooting. Oh, that was Han. Han Solo, yeah, he's opening with Han. There goes Han. Han shoots first. Or this could be the last squadron activation as well. Which is he also uses Han so at the end. First and last. With the Rogue and Grit, and then he'll do it at the beginning and probably pull Han away. Right. Although, it looks like... I think that uh, that's Han there. There, Han is right in front of the Star Cruiser, and I believe that Red Squadron uh, on the rock there that Han shot at is Captain Nim. Yes. This must be the start of turn two, because of the way that the activation sliders have been uh, triggered here. Uh, there it goes. Oh, we got two hits. Brace from Jan. That's on. Uh, I believe that's on Captain Nim as well. So Nim's gonna. Yeah, take you one definitely want to get rid of him. He needs to keep his tokens alive. Oh as yeah, possible. yeah. Nim is so infuriating. Oh, there goes your brace. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yet, for some reason, he's not very popular. When he first came out, I remember facing him quite a bit, 
But you think with uh, like the way that the men has gone with ECM and stuff like that, you think you'd see him more often. Yeah. No, I don't see him very often, but uh, I, I, it's so infuriating. I'd, I'd bring an Ark, an Articans without Captain Nita in TRCs, <laughs> and Yik would fly up and just take my evade. Sorry. <laughs> and then ignore my ship for the rest of the game. He doesn't care about it. <laughs> Go ahead with your three unmodified events. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, get out of here with your... <laughs> that you may get an arc. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. All right, so... We don't have a turn counter up here anywhere, Victor. We are at the very top of turn two, I believe, at the moment. Who is you rolling with three blacks? I'm confused here on how... Did we miss an activation here? Did he not activate... Because Yik is doing an activation here. We didn't see Mac attack with uh, his Star Cruiser. So he must have just. Uh, must have just been Han, and then that's all been Yik since then. No, Mac uh, activated this ship. Oh, oh, two came down. Okay. Oh, okay. Then he activated two squadrons, and then. Right. He so he's right. doing the squadron battle yeah. first. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's the first, first ZZ. First Z down. Yeah. Made of paper tissue, tissue paper. Oh, no, maybe not. It's not down. It's just taking some damage. Yeah, Mac is really trying to go after uh, <laughs> Nim. Nim. Well, he has to get on the outside now to get away um, from the back swings eventually. If he kills it now, it's dead. Whereas yeah. once the X wings and big get in there, it's two dice. Just a grind. Uh, that. that looks like a whole lot of nothing. Shooting with the VCXs. <laughs> uh, here comes another Z. See, with with uh, with Nim hiding in the rock there, he's not getting a swarm rerolls. He's he's rolling naked red dice, and he's not even rolling as many as he. Uh, is, is Blount limited to engaged as well? Where did he get there? Accuracy, accuracy. Yep. Nice. <laughs> no hits. <laughs> Only five more where that came from. Right. <laughs> Well, I think Mac Dig is thinking he needs this. He needs like a four damage. Well, I think he got one there. No hits. No hits again there. He's being very aggressive with his flotillas. They're he's trying to get them up there. If you flat, gotta get him in there. Yeah, because. Uh, I don't think he can win uh, like a squadron, a str just a squadron punch up. He's got to get his his, uh, his flotillas in there just to flack. And possibly has blockers too on the yeah, MC-80. Yeah, that's very true as well. Oh, must have accidentally moved too far. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting that Yik put his uh, um, chaff token for early warning system on the far side of his ship. See how it's on the, no mm -hmm. the sort of top end of that super pickle. And uh, it, if you're just joining us now, that MC80 does not have, uh, sorry, that Star Cruiser does not have a front arc shot on the super pickle. <clears throat> So the question was, did Yik forget about moving the EWS token? And uh, I don't believe he forgot, because um, he was in a different position on turn one. The only thing he has to worry about is squadrons coming in to shoot him in the front, based on the length. So he's just, he left it there so that they're not going to eat his, uh, basically where he wants to redirect in the future. And this way he doesn't have to worry about it. If they want to come into his front, he's fine with that, because then it's going to be possibly an AA range of his flotillas at the beginning of the next turn. Right. 
if they go on the outside, then he's only got the MC-88 to worry about them. And uh, Mac, uh, I'm sure, is going to try to park his uh, Star Cruiser right in front of that Super Pickle. Yeah. But when he does that, he's probably he's going to almost guaranteed to hit that debris. Um, he might be able to squeak past it, but he's going to end up belly flopping onto all those squadrons, so it'll throw everything. Or it'll give Yik a very good chance to split those Zs up and put them in his flak dice range. Speed 3 with a nav command and engine tech, I mean, he can really swing that around too and basically oh, yeah. be sitting yeah. nose to nose. <laughs> That's where he wants to be, right? Because uh, advanced gunnery from the side arc of a, of a super pickle is, is ridiculous. <laughs> be very interesting once that splash happens whether Yik moves to stay engaged or whether he moves to get unengaged so that he can concentrate on the uh, well Star I'd put his uh... yeah that's right I mean it'll give Yik a chance to put all his ships uh, as many as possible unengaged to, to bomb the bomb that star cruiser get its shield and put yeah. All of Max Z's uh, into flak range of his two transports because uh, you know the flak does work against Z's. Uh, okay, it looks like Mac got some hits here on something. <laughs> two hits. It was an obstructed shot from a oh, burning brace. of Janor's yeah. brace. I think he's still shooting at Captain Nim. And Captain looks like Captain Nim's at about half half health, and he's taken a lot of shots at Captain Nim already. He's doing his duty as the, the whether he's as bait or whether it's you know he's, actually yeah. just part of his game plan. Either way, it's been nullifying a lot of uh, the max shots. Oh, another one. So that's three flotilla activations of squad. I think they're they're going through all, all the flotillas all first, which I called wrong. I thought he would uh, for sure activate his uh, his star cruiser first, but uh, maybe he. Uh, because Yik, Yik act, out activates him. Um, you can't avoid it. Mm -hmm. So he's, and Yik has defiance, so he wants to go last with that super pickle. <laughs> Star Wars Tabletop brought up uh, with, uh, with the super pickles sort of combination of early warning system and uh, ECMs that he could easily take on the Star Cruiser, <laughs> even from the front arc. Uh, that's, you know, maybe that's true. Um, I would say for sure if, if he can get side arc shots on that Star Cruiser, it's going to go down really fast. With advanced gunnery, it'll just get it'll get ugly real quick. So I think Max' uh, win condition here is to park himself right in front of the Super Pebble. Yeah. If he does anything else, I don't I don't see how he can pull it off. He wants to. Uh, the question is talking about uh, whether he, it's prudent to be concentrating on Nim so much. If Nim can get in. Because he's unengaged right now, being in the rock. So, if he can get in eventually and, and remove like a brace or, or whatever off of the, well, off the MC, he's got a redundant brace. But even if he loses yeah. a redirect, I mean, Nim is really annoying. You're probably going to get one of them locked down. And you got to remember that he doesn't even need to use Nim's ability. Um, he the he's going. running General With Dundana. Dundana, yeah. <laughs> Just keep your so we see he's got the choice, right? Uh, if he can get a crit through with Nim. And with Torn Far hanging around there, the chance of getting a crit with Nim is very, very high. Um, you know, in terms of going all out after Nim, I think Nim was just the, the, the target of opportunity at that point. And uh, yeah, everything uh, else is too far back. Yeah, and then once you start working on something, you don't really want to start switching it up. Uh, so Yik is now attacking a Z, and uh, he's either picking it up to give it some damage, or it's dead. Uh, it looks like a Z is down. Z. In flak range. Nope. Yeah. I don't know if he'll do the double flak or just remove two flotillas off the board to get that activation advantage for following turns. 
because then you'll be able to first last them. Yeah. Actually, three Z's down. Three Z's are actually down on Mac. And Yik has taken no no squadron losses. Just if anyone's curious, the other objectives that uh, Mac would have been able to choose from was fire lanes and intel sweep. Um, <laughs> fire lanes, I don't think, would have been a good trade. Uh, oh, the, uh, the Star Cruiser is at speed uh, three right now, and he's got engine techs, and so with Garam tokens, Comnet tokens, he can basically go from one to three anytime he wants. And here comes Quan of Storm. Oh, that's Hondo. I'm sorry, Quantum Storm's already moved in. Uh, strategic advisor being tapped for um, Yix activation. Has to do it because nothing's died yet no. from activation point. Uh, one of the tables I was playing on had uh, a fold in it today, and I literally had to put dials underneath my ISD because if you didn't, <laughs> oh, on one angle I was well. in arc and on the proper angle flat oh. it wasn't. <laughs> I was using the gravity wells to my advantage. I'd move my YV666 to the full max two, and he'd be on that little hill in the middle of the table, and then, woo, look at him slide down another half a distance Gains one. one. <laughs> Gains a little speed boost from the gravity well. So I think the Star Cruiser just shot at the... Oh, it did oh, have the MC80. It did have a an arc. Okay. No, side arc. The side arc shot at really? the MC80. Yep, two red dice. And now he's going to do a front arc shot. Well, he's willing to uh, nullify and not take out two flotillas. And okay. Maybe he doesn't maybe think the there to, to I don't think kill two. At long range, I don't think so. Because it's one instructed, might, it's long range. This one might be blue, I don't know. And number four is... <laughs> Yix number four. Okay, that's not Bright Hope. Yeah, Defiance can be added at any type after the initial roll. So you, initial roll, see what you have. If you needed a fish for an accuracy, you could add a blue. Or if you concentrate a fire, you could do a blue, or you could do defiance before you concentrate fire and add the same yeah, that you yeah, add to yeah, almost always adds a black. Yeah. Well, he might actually add a blue. He's got heavy ion emplacements. That's going to be nasty. Ruby's the, the, he didn't shoot out his front yet, did he? I thought he just took a side arc shot. Yeah, at just the, a side. Uh, I, I don't know if he's debating right now whether AA is worth it. or. Which is a bizarre, bizarre choice that he chose. Well, it looks like he just pointed at the MC-80, so maybe he's doing a second side shot. It looks like a second side shot into the front of the MC-80. So it's a redirect token, I think, this time? He, oh, he went side to side, yeah, obstructed he, with EWS. Why would, I'm curious about that. Hmm. Well, he he's the first player. He wouldn't be able to shoot at the No, I know, player. but I, I'm surprised he wouldn't have shot at the uh, flotilla or taken AA just to add into that True. AA. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, well, he, he wouldn't be able to shoot a Nim because the Star Cruiser is one black anti squadron die and it's yeah, getting in a rock. But, but the rest, the getting yeah. working on those X wings because once Biggs is in that pile, right? I it's, guess yeah, it's I guess maybe he that. just figured that taking the shot at the flotilla is just, just a waste because he's relying on a red accuracy and he has no way to guarantee one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I can see that. I mean. Why waste a whole shot if you know you can do some damage to the Super Pickle? The Pickle's mm -hmm. got no evade, so uh, you know, whatever you do, it's, it's, it's gonna going to stick, in. right? It might not be a lot. This is going to make a mess. I think uh, there's a rock, a uh, debris cloud, obstructed yeah. by all those squadrons, and Mac is going to land right on it. And either break everything off or engage it all again, but either way... Well, uh, Yik's going to get to pick where, you know, everybody's going to yeah. go. Smart that they're doing this. I find a lot of times with my ISDs, there's never fails when you're moving them in and you hit the actual ship that you're trying to go into right. <laughs> as opposed to and then you're like backing up and the other oh, ships move now. They've got the ships stacked on top of each other. This is funny. They, I guess they really want to be clear just how many people are getting run over. We got the judge in. <laughs> yeah, we got the judge there now. Oh, everybody's getting run over here. 
And it looks like the uh, Quasar is down in uh, Norman Carlos' game. Oh, the Quasar died. Yeah. That thing just lives way too long. <laughs> like even we were watching at the end of his game yesterday, and yeah. it's like really, you know. Meanwhile, if I fly, I mean, if you look at it wrong, and it seems to disappear. Like he's got uh, ECMs on a Quasar. <laughs> I mean, that's what can I say? <laughs> I saw it eat a double arc shot uh, from an ISD yesterday, and it it, it, it limped almost away. gets to the point where it's like, am I even going to shoot at it? Like it, when it's that 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 heavily defended, you're like, oh, I'm going to waste my the good stupid shots thing good won't things. die. Yeah. yeah. It's, Frustration from Norm. All right, so here comes. So he did slow down to one with the two ticks at one to maximize his turn. Clonk. Well, here's obstructed. He's only in front arc at this point. I believe like. he's only in front so he arc. Probably will not inch tick because he'll end up landing on the debris twice. He doesn't want right. that. No. Wow, that was that was some good flying right there. Yeah, I think. Uh, and he looks. He probably is in if, I was, if I was Yick. He might be out of blue range even. Uh, but Yick is going to be able to uh, to basically, you know, pull up north, right? Yeah. On him there. Next turn. With the super we'll pickle. On, on his next activation. Yeah. And yeah, he's going to eat a. Um, I don't think Star he can. Cruiser can get away though. He's got the. Yeah, you're right. And then he can just go. Yeah. If you if you accidentally ends up in side art or if he doesn't, in the front well, he doesn't want to get double art, right? I mean, in speed two with an engine tech, he has to get past that front arc line on that start cruiser. Yeah, you're right. Okay, he's taking the shields on the front, it looks like, from the debris cloud. That is interesting. <laughs> he's all in, I guess. He figures next turn he's either uh, surviving or dying. <laughs> And actually, interestingly enough, it looks like there was a bunch of squadrons that didn't get run over, and they're going to eat a lot of valuable real estate mm -hmm. uh, for where he can put uh, the rest of the squadrons. Because there's so many squadrons got run over, I think he's got to pretty much put them everywhere. And in this situation, even though Mac took the two shields uh, damage, he's actually obstructed now from Defiance. Yes, and so, he's, he's not in the in the lethal side arc. Yeah, right? I don't think. Uh, because uh, I don't know how many... He can get front to uh, the Star Cruiser's side at this angle. So it looks like, yeah, he's obstructed, so... Yeah, really, that's best case only one damage. Because, I mean, how many... Uh, I mean, they're, they're playing advanced gunnery. How many side arc shots at medium range can that Star Cruiser survive? Yeah. Probably just one, right? Or, yeah. or two, right? Yeah, it's all but going he's going to get it in one activation. Yeah, just responding to chat. Yeah, it's been a slow. It's uh, over an hour, almost an hour and a half for uh, just the first two turns. But uh, I don't feel it is slow though. Like they're know, in, they're playing. They're, they're in not at slow the bottom playing. of turn one. They're, they're not slow playing, and they're committing to. Yeah. This isn't like uh, I'll just kill one of your Z's and I'll run like yeah. that kind of nonsense. I mean, Han fired first round. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're fighting it out. So it's uh, you know it, it takes some time, but you know as things get removed, it'll speed up quite a bit. Nim just made a move. Oh, he's placing Nim. Okay. <laughs> They're all mixed together there. Neither of these players paint their squadrons. I think it's uh, you know a just, matter of just just, just basic self-respect <laughs> that you paint your squadrons. You don't play with unpainted stuff. I I paint my bases. I color the outside of my dials yeah, so that they're all red or green for the the yeah. side. They look I, sharper on stream. You can tell them apart, yeah. right? Even all my like the squadron little tokens I actually put green on on the borders of them for the imperial and stuff like that. So you know what I wanted to do was paint um, the my bases for my ships and then have like uh, plaques where I could name them. Ah, nice. So I'd have like you know the Michael Clayton <laughs> <laughs> and like the Queen Cersei yeah, and you yeah, know yeah, whatever yeah. right. It'd be kind of cool. Do it in like a sort of acrylic like. Uh, yeah, what do we get there? This looks like flak. This must be coming from one of the flotillas. One of the flotillas. So if anyone wants an update, uh, King Capo asked about an update on the other table. Uh, Norm lost his Quasar, and he's down to two hull on his uh, ice D2. Oh. oh, wow. He's about to get tabled. Wow, yeah, so... Okay. Yeah, so with the, that update... The YT twenty four hundreds are definitely doing the work for Carlo, yeah. and then where he dropped that MC seventy five outside of block range in front of both the, the enemy ships, really forcing them to come to him oh, okay. to get that retaliation. Yeah, me and him were talking about that. Rather than dropping the ship right into black range and taking it, you drop it just outside of black range, let them come to you. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have it like, in that list, 
uh, Norm's only running two ships, and right. so even once he drops the, sh the third ship, right. Carlo actually now has activation Vision advantage, advantage. <laughs> so he can actually outweigh them both. They both come into black range because they're both pointed right at him, yeah. and then he opens up on them. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it looks like we'll keep you posted on the other game as uh, things develop. Oh, Super Pickle got moved a little bit there. Dead Z. Yeah. Yeah, that was Nim that just pulled back on the station. And I guess that's that's the problem with trying to attack Nim on a rock, right? I mean, he can just eat all this damage, and then he's like, you know what? I had enough. I'll just run. And he's got he's rolling two dice, I believe. He's a black blue bomber, so yeah. he can he can bomb even when he's sitting on the obstacle. And he's, I can't remember if he's heavy or not. I don't, I don't think he is. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall. Um, I know he's not rogue. Again, he's never on the table very often. Yeah, so. you don't see him too often, but uh, I think he's expensive. I'm not sure what he costs, but I think he's 23 points, something like that. So yeah, Nim uh, is 21 bomber and grit. Right. So no heavy and no rogue. Yeah. Uh, he's going to eat that rock. Crunch. Remains obstructed, looks like, though. May, uh, maybe not from uh, side to side. Uh, it's an interesting choice there. Um, maybe he's doing Oh, here the, comes all oh, Dundana. Oh, dear. What do we got here? Maybe he's doing the go ahead and shoot my flotilla, you're not shooting me kind of thing. Structural damage on the right. flotilla. Right. Oh, that flotilla was... just took a structural thanks to uh, General Dundana. So then when next turn, when it moves, it'll ram the side of the MC-80, and that'll and, be it. Yeah. And, and, and back up on a rock on top yeah, of that. And go, and go poof again. <laughs> yep. All right. Get some hits there. It looks like this is coming from the front of the Defiance. Defiance. Um, He's got quad nice battery to turrets know what as well. He's shooting so. at. I think the front of the MC-80. Yes. Yeah, he's shooting at the front of the MC-80. That must be almost down to no shield. It, it's it's got to be because he took the two shields there, from yeah. the uh, from hitting the debris. If you, uh, I don't know if you looked at the tutorial videos that uh, Green Knight did um, the, for Vassal. They uh, they're actually pretty good. I when I tried Vassal over a year ago too, and it was too complicated for me then. It was it wasn't as intuitive. Now the new version or, or the updates since then a lot better, and I find it now it's everything is basically like has either to do with Alt, Control, and Shift with one hand, and then arrow keys and maybe a hot key, which are all like H for Hall. So, okay, Vassal is definitely a lot easier than it used to be. Really, I, that's something I really wanted to uh, start getting into. Either that or tabletop simulator. I played on my 65-inch screen. I use that as a second oh, okay. monitor, so oh, right I stream on. it to that. So it's actually almost the same size as a table oh, at that's that point. Pretty awesome. Yeah. And there is the second, the Armada mod that puts in all the uh, wording onto all the cards and stuff like that. So. so one thing you could do here is ram that. Well, he doesn't necessarily want to hit that rock either, right? And that flotilla's got nowhere to go, so he doesn't need to ram it. But uh, Yik might be able to, like, just if he can, if he can jump out just and then the engine hit tech it. swing. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he'll take the rock. Well, well, he'll, he'll take the, the rock flotilla. with the ah. but well, the flotilla will die, and then the Enchitech will move forward again afterwards. Yeah, like so, I don't, I wouldn't want to hit that rock. At well, all. when he does the ram, he won't take the rock. That kills that flotilla. Yeah, and then he'll Enchitech to hit the rock, but he might be able to swing out of front arc. No, but okay. So here's what he's trying. It looks like he might be trying to swing. Yeah. Swing his uh, his side arc in front of that MC, uh, in front of that Star Cruiser. He's still back up to there. Kill it. Back up. Mm. I think no matter how he swings, he's going to end up hitting that flotilla to kill it and then end up exactly where he's at. He might want to prefer to swing and hit the... If he's going to end up where he's at, he might want to try to swing the left and then hit the Star Cruiser. Give the damage onto that, at least. Like, I don't think he can fit um, uh, turning down the map. 
I think he's going to end up just going straight. There's no point in, in ramming that. Uh, until uh, it's going to die. Until it's going to die anyway. And he does not want to hit that rock. Dundon is so good for 20 points. I mean, if he could, he if should he, work. He should work for both players. <laughs> if he could just slide right up that side arc of the MC, uh, Star Cruiser, and then Engine Tech to get past for for an arc, that would be no, like he oh, can't. perfect. He can't. It's yeah. too. Uh, he can't go fast enough to get out of the front arc. So uh, update on the other table. Norm was tabled. Norm Weir is down. The king is dead, long live the king. <laughs> so they're asking for a judge call right now. Uh, we checking something. We are checking. It's on the side. Oh, no way that's an arc. Uh, it could be. No way. Like he's measuring obstruction, it looked like, but not arc. Well, it's definitely obstructed. You can see the tip of the uh, outpost sticking out. But Victor, Victor will let us know when he comes yeah. back because he was just measuring it. Yeah, Ginkapu just mentioned that uh, Mac is going going to kill the big ship, or that's what he's going for. And, I mean, I don't think he has much of a choice. I don't think he can win a squadron game uh, against what against Norm squadrons. So I think that's that's his win condition, is killing that super pickle. So here's the uh, judge back, and what was the... Uh, what was the measurement reason? for checking? It was, uh, he just wanted to see, Mac wanted to see if um, his front, the uh, Star Cruiser front art, had line of sight to the side arc on the bottom oh, of the Star Cruiser because okay. it was very close. I want to see if it crossed the, oh, the, okay. the arc, right? So that was the question. Was it obstructed as well? It was not. It wasn't obstructed and he had arc. Yeah. That's oh, right. nice. Okay. Oh, okay. And that way he can shoot past the chaff token from early warning system. Mm -hmm. okay. Which has been that's, moved to the front of that's the. Big, uh, that's big news for Matt. Yeah. So did Yik end up moving at all? Because it doesn't look like his ship moved. Did he bump himself or. He must have bumped the Star Cruiser. No, the flotilla's still there, so... No, no, when Yik moved to Super Pickle, because he shot with the Super Pickle, but I don't believe it moved. He was checking measurements. Actually, what Yik did is he did a sharp turn into his own flotilla to stop uh, His own flotilla? Yeah. Okay. So he blocked himself, because I guess he didn't want to move from there. Interesting, okay, all right. Well, that's weird, because he could have done it to hit the opponent's flotilla, he raced it, and still backed up to where he's at. Would he have uh, also hit the obstruction? No. He, he may not. He may have still moved one if he did that turn. Oh, maybe. Right? Yeah, Whereas true. this one, he doesn't move at For all. For sure, doesn't yeah. move. Yeah. Because I guess he was assuming Mac wouldn't be able to shoot in his side arc. But interesting. Okay. Unfortunately, so. Yeah, that's the self bumping using the flotillas as little uh, speed bumps. Yeah, because either way, that flotilla is either dead or not dead next right. turn, whether he shoots at it or not. And you know what? Max shot is going to be obstructed at Yik no matter what hull zone he shoots at because he's sitting on that rock, that uh, debris cloud. His own debris cloud, yes. Yeah, yeah, so I was thinking, oh, he can he can avoid the chaff token, but the chaff token's not going to matter because no matter what he shoots at, it's going to be obstructed. Yeah, and he's already eaten some shields off the far side, so it wouldn't be, make, make much difference. He only can, he can only redirect one anyways, so... It's getting some tokens out. Would Victor, this be the start of... Victor, when you were over there, is there any damage, like actual hull damage at all on any of the big ships? No. No? So just working on shields still. Yeah. Okay. So that's, uh, I guess that's him popping his Hondo? Uh, Mac? Yeah. That would be Mac popping his Hondo. Yeah, because uh, he doesn't have... Uh, uh, Yik doesn't have one. It's almost an auto auto include my list now, Hondo. Really? Yeah, I've had best, I played best two points. <laughs> I remember playing Victor, where he gave me an engineering and a concentrate fire, and that those two tokens ended up being absolutely critical for me. So, when I was playing against the Hammerhead list, he'd already had one token on every single one of his ships. So when I popped it, I got all four of my tokens because okay. he has to put it on a ship. So I put my two that I wanted for sure on my other two, and he had to pass the other two onto my flotillas. Oh. There's a rule you have to put oh. on a ship. Unless there's every ship has a token because you can't replace tokens. Oh. Then they get wasted. So you can put tokens <laughs> on enemy ships. So turn two, I pop 
Hondo oh, and got all four tokens. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have yeah, to put it on a ship. That's yeah. dirty. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When he tokened up the first turn, I'm like, and I pop Hondo. <laughs> So all the Imperials are out. It's going to be a Rebel on Rebel final. <laughs> oh, oh. He's covering his dice. <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> oh, now it does count. <laughs> This has got to be. be uh, this has got to be a front arc from the Star Cruiser to the flotilla. I think. You think so? Not the Star Cruiser. I don't know. He's got advanced gunnery, so I mean, either way. That would have been why he was checking the side arc. Mac, Mac was sure going on. He's like, every time this side. thing shoots, it's That's nine why damage. That's why he's checking the side arc. Yeah. Is it nine damage? That's the question. Yeah. It's obstructed though, as well. Oh, okay. Great. Probably had a concentrated fire token from the beginning of the game. <laughs> Looks like everything but one dice had some sort of damage on it. <laughs> Well, if you shot at a flotilla, it's it's it's, like it's it's gone. Accuracy. There's at least two accuracies there, and at least four minimum damage. six damage. Yeah. yeah, five damage plus two accuracies. If you shot at a flotilla, it's dog meat. We're gonna find out in a second. I think you might have to do front and side just to try and kill that MC-80. I don't think, can Matt get back in the front arc of that MC-80? I don't think he can. The way he's angled... If he doesn't kill the flotilla, he can use the bump to stay back. He might still move I mean, He's going to go up at least distance one. He might be able to stay out of that side arc. If you can double-click at one to be the one his bump is at your one, then you would back up. That's about the only way he can try and stay in the same spot. He's going to hit the debris cloud again, though. That's the other thing. I'd rather take two shields and slide into the side arc. The, yeah, well, I, yeah, I think you're right. If he goes in the side arc, he's done. Because he'd be, he's already taken quite a bit of damage on the front. And, and two side volleys from that thing on the same hull zone uh, from a super pickle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's definitely not slow play, uh, Ginkapu. Um, I mean, the amount of stuff that they have going on, this is the crucial turn of this game because if the Star Cruiser slides into side arc, the MC-80 wins. That, the, 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 M, the Super Pickle just took two damage and probably a bunch of shields. So that shot was on the Super Pickle. And now he's going to be able to shoot the Super Pickle again because we established that this, he has arc on the front and the side of the Super Pickle. <laughs> But this is an obstructed shot. Oh, you got you got three double hits there. Oh, ruthless. Two accuracies, three double hits. On top of his Mon Karen and XI7, it's almost... <laughs> oh, he's making him... He's... Le leading shots the... Uh, no, I don't know what happened. That's Katakin and Sholin, I think. Yeah. Because he was fishing for uh, accuracies. I thought he had two accuracies there. Oh, okay. So, oh, wow. So the Super Pickle just took massive damage. Well, he just rolled three natural double hits. So if the Star I mean, Cruiser could stay in his current position. I, I, that, I think that completely changed the, the, the dynamic. sort of dynamic of this entire game. So that would be a brace, and then he took five damage. So and just pass the engineer token yeah. from Comnet over to the MC-80. And just to finish off the activation, Mac, I think, just rammed one of these two. And stayed in the uh, same location. Yeah. Perfectly, yeah. That's good. Yeah.
Squadron phase, I'm, I'm assuming here. I don't think there's any activation. It's another dead. Uh, another dead Z. Uh, chat saying that could be game. Um, I don't know how much da that, that MC that Star Cruiser hasn't taken much damage. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any hull. I don't know if it, Yik so. could kill it with squadrons though. But the uh, the super pickle is still on the table and it's going to shoot back. No, yeah. it's blunt. I think he was shooting at. And he possibly somebody took damage there. Yeah, I think that was Blount taking a damage. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's not the squadron phase because uh, it's not. No. Remember, he hasn't. Uh, he he's hasn't doing an activation. Yeah, he's super pickle yet. So he's going to get a chance to crack back. Are we um, at the top of turn three? Well, in the middle, of, the middle, in the of, middle of turn three, three. middle of turn three. Right. Okay, yeah. okay. You look at the majority of the squadrons are still on the blue tab. Yes. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, yeah. And not a, not a lot of them have activated so far. So. But I think Yix activated a super pickle, right? He's already done that. But didn't he bump his own flotilla? Maybe that was three? the end of. Possibly. Yeah, the, the end of turn two was where he bumped his super. Ah, okay. So okay. And and all the squadrons were activated. Yeah. We never saw a squadron yeah, exactly. face. So okay, I don't okay, see okay, any okay. face up dials next yeah. to the super pickle. Somehow that. Uh, Max GR75 that cruised onto the rock is somehow still making, alive. And he's making sure that that uh, MCA is not going anywhere. So. Yes, absolutely, Matthew. Um. Yeah, with advanced gunnery, losing that ship is going to be huge. Yeah, at that point, it's a mop-up operation. Oh, yeah, big time. And, and sail away at speed four. But that's the thing. Like, I'm a lot of times, when I see these, these like, big ship on big ship games, you know, if you end up trading them, then it's going to come down to a squadron fight, right? But at max, has, max ship has not taken much damage. I mean, it's lost a lot of its shields. But uh, it hasn't taken anything into the hull yet. If uh, Yik could clean up, even if he loses the Super Pickle, if he can clean up the squadrons and still work on the MC-80 uh, Star Cruiser when it runs away, he might be able to almost awesome. even it out. It all depends, I guess, on the... Uh, he needs, he needs, he's going to need to get another... <laughs> he's going to need to get some solid damage into it with the Super Pickle. Because that, uh, that MC... That Star Cruiser is going to just take off once that pickles yeah. down. And he's none of his squadrons run. are quick enough. No, they won't, one able, turn maybe. they won't be able to yeah. catch him. So I want to I give an update as to the health of both ships. As you can see, the, the uh, Yix um, Dodonna Super Pickle has one, two, three, four damage on it. Has only uh, four shields on the top side of the ship and two shields on the rear. Max actually has one hull damage. It does have one Star hull, Cruiser, okay. yeah. And it has only one shield on the, if you're watching on the screen, on the top, on the top side. So no shields on the front, no shields on the, I guess if you were, if you're right ship wise, yeah. yeah, yeah. The left arc, no shields on the front, the left arc or the rear arc, just one shield on the right arc. One. So there's a chance. Yeah. Mutual nuking, maybe, and then uh, yeah. So they're, they're, they're actually to, uh, that, that's pretty similar in shields because if Yik has any engineering's lined up, he can uh, he can move those shields back to the front and the side that's he, getting shot. And he got past the token earlier. And so. remember, he's got yeah. He still got his brace. He still got all that stuff, right? So Yik's uh, or sorry, uh, Max Star Cruiser is worth 170 points. They're almost the same. That's and it's 176 to oh sorry, not 160. It's 79. The, yeah, 179. Trigger, yeah. Oh, is it up there? Okay. The numbers. So then it'll come down to the squadrons, and he's actually got the squadron points uh, than he does. And you should win the squadron battle. I would think so. <laughs> Might still be a 15 point difference at the end of the day, <laughs> but a lot of things die. <laughs> the Geek's just doing a squadron activation from a flotilla here. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, I don't think there'll be much of uh, Max Squadrons left at the end of this. Um, no, I don't think so. Yix should have a few of his remaining, if not most of them. Well, I mean, the, he's got VCXs and Han. They're not exactly easy to kill. Yeah, and Max Squadrons add up to 126 points, so <laughs> that's an additional... Oh, there's another Z down. Nope. It's not down. Oh. It just took some damage. It's, it looks like it's down to one. Uh, Torn far reroll. No, no. Oh, that's Is that a hit? Two. Yeah. No. He could be shooting at blind. Got scattered. Oh, that was Captain Nim. So what would be interesting to see, because it's hard to tell, Captain Nim is is at the top of uh, Max um, Star Cruiser, but I don't know what those other ships are that are in front of Nim. Nim is that red ship. So Where is Jan Oris? Could that be Jan? Her the, right yeah, there in Jan front of the... Yeah. Right next to the number one in front of yeah. the... Just underneath cruiser, the red yeah. number one yeah. is Jan Oris. Okay. So she would have to move then to, oh, to get rid of those Zs on the top from engaging. Be curious to see if that uh, number two from Mac with the with the blue die out the front might become a factor uh, next round because he'll be able to concentrate fire and put two blues into the uh, side of the MC80 just for additional damage. <laughs> he's, I think he's still too far out. He's got to move the, it in. Yeah, but the, at the end of this turn. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> be hilarious. So actually, quick change. Uh, so. Uh, in front of Nim is Blount, yes. but the two ones with the red tabs behind him are actually X -wings. Bigs and an X-Wing. Oh, okay. And then, that's what I thought. Uh, oh. Yeah, this is another Z. Z. There you go, Mac. He rolled an accuracy and two hits. Yep. With a Z. On Bigs. And there's another Z with a... Oh, Ooh, double, double, double. Oh, my God. Four damage? Casino dice. Four damage. There Four damage with Max dice that he was claiming. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, are starting to roll yeah. from him. Brace, take two. And then massive overlap. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I think he's okay. Oh, yeah. but now he's overlapping those fighters. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And it protects. And it, none of those f fighters can come in. And I think those are Z's. I think those are Z's. Um, there and should only be. VCX, there yeah. should be four yeah. Z's, including yeah. Blunt, still on the table. Okay, one, two, two. Yep. Three, 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 four, and then. Those are X-wings. I know no one on camera can see my mouse pointer, but yeah, yeah. There's two Z95s that are uh, amidst the uh, like if you, flotilla four yeah, yellow between flotilla yeah. red yellow four and red three. There's the two Z95s, and then uh, on the side of the Star Cruiser, you have an order from left to right. You have Blount, Biggs, X-wing, Z95. What command did he just reveal there? This one? No, no, no. You just, I think, revealed this one. I thought that came from the MC squadron. The command, yeah. I thought it was from the squadron. Super Pickle, but it, it might be from a, a flotilla, and he just moved the dial onto the table. Oh, oh. Well, they just agreed that it's over. He conceded. Didn't want to play it up? Okay. We'll get the uh, final results in just a few seconds here. Just to summarize, so... Um, Actually, Nim was attacking the thing because it turns out that these were within Jan Ors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, because Jan Ors was, was right telling Blount. Yep. And these, the two uh, ships were friendly. Right. So, so then Nim was free to fire into the Star Cruiser. Yep. Did a bunch of damage, and then um, Mac Same realized that, that he was still going to get double arced by the the uh, Super Pickle because it hadn't yeah. activated yet. That yeah, turn. the front front. Yeah. And it already had like five damage, no shield. So Mac can even with in. double braces. Yeah, so he just threw in the towel. So, so it looks right. like it's going to be a Yik it's going to be a Carlo Yik versus yeah. Carlo final. They, Carlo, yeah. they played earlier in the in the Swiss rounds as well, and I think he came out on top with a six five. I believe. Uh, I believe he did, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I, I find a lot of times when people repeat themselves later on in the cut, yeah, you never know. the other person seems to be like, Carlos, okay, your Carlos, plan's not going to work against yeah. me twice. Carlos had a night to sleep on it, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, Although we did have some beers last night. so I have played personally against uh, Yik's, um, this exact same list a couple of weeks ago casually. 
It's brutal. It is brutal. Yeah, it, it is it's tanky. I, I think it is better than an Akbar Super Pickle. Well, it's tanky. It's just got because it, when the, when the crits go through, crit. it's so oh. ruthless, right? With Dodonna. Yeah. Um, I don't know if uh, heavy ion emplacements really came into uh, in well. Effect. Here's we'll the thing: like after. with the, with those heavy ions, he's he strips your shield so quickly. That, and then uh, on the crits. And then he's got Dodonna, right? So like all those those crits, they're going to like he's hitting bone, right? Yeah. I was wondering. I always figure with defiance and quad battery turrets, you get if you would put leading shots in there, you're getting that reroll at long range now. Uh, possibly. And the and the point savings as well. I don't know. I've, I've never really. Some people swear by leading shots. I've never been a fan of it. Uh, I, I never want to give up the dice, especially a blue dice, because a blue dice by. always does something, right? Um, I love it on my eyes. These are quads for that, just because. The, if you don't have an ordinance expert to get those blacks re rolling, yeah, right? Like, you, really, you, you need yeah. something to mitigate the thing. And I mean, I used to like screed a lot on top of that. He was then it's like, for a now time. I still have a red blank. Don't care. Now I got a double hit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yep, Crazy Mac is out of contention. I actually kind of thought he kind of had it in the game there, but staying I, I in that front arc. But like part of it was uh, <laughs> we could we could see the damage cards on Yik Super Pickle. We could not see the damage cards on Max Star Cruiser because it was off camera. So it, it, it came as a little bit of a surprise to us that that he uh, he threw in the towel. But I, I think from what I'm what I've been told, it was worse than uh, than we thought it was. Yeah, he was down to I think he still had about five or six hull left. But he, but he had no shield. He had no shield. No shots no shot from the front of the MC80. Yeah, yeah. So and I had all those X wings. There was yeah, yeah. all those X wings were just eating him. I mean, it was, it was more of a mathematical eventuality to concede. So.